was volunteering in the Dominican Republic with the Sisters of the Holy Child Jesus when they asked me to write a children's biography of the Foundress to celebrate her 200th birthday. I think Cornelia Conley was an incredible woman, and I'm grateful that I was chosen to help share her story with kids. Until I joined Responsibility, the Society's Lay Mission Program, I had never heard of Cornelia. But I remember that when I heard of her for the first time, I was struck by her courage and her faith. To trust God enough to sacrifice everything, family, reputation, friends, country, everything, and to do that without bitterness is amazing. Her story is a model of acceptance and love for all of us. And fortunately, several books have been written about Cornelia for adults. But what was missing was a book for young children. When I first sat down to write it, I realized why this would be the first book. It was extremely difficult making the story appropriate for kids. Many heartbreaking events happened to her, and I had to present them in ways that wouldn't scare children. As I was brainstorming and writing, I always kept my own students in mind. I've taught for two years in a holy child school in a Haitian migrant worker camp in the Dominican Republic. As I wrote each page of the book, I would think, now if I were reading this to my kids, would they enjoy this? Would they be bored? Could they relate to this? Doing this confirmed what I experience every day at work. All kids are basically the same. Yes, mine are hungry, abused, and live in shacks but they can be as attracted to Cornelia as a middle-class American student can. Every child sees and feels changes in beliefs and sees struggles within families. All kids want their own way and yet want to do what is right. I hope my students and all children who read this book see that even though life can be difficult, they always have choices and it is possible to do what's best. I hope that children and adults can discuss with each other the choices Cornelia made and the way she chose to live her life. I think her words and her life can make us all more aware of the presence of God in each of us and in everything around us. And I think that awareness, if acted out, can bring subtle changes to the world.